What's up Thrivers? Ascended one here. I hope all of you guys are having an awesome day. Now this is a video I never wanted to make. This is a video I never thought I would have to make. But honestly guys, the fact is myself along with so many other players are probably going to be uninstalling ARK very soon guys and this is absolutely terrible news. First of all, let's get this out of the way right now. I love this game so much and I, and I know there are tons of players ar around the world with the same feeling but just like arc and joining a great tribe the trust has been broken wildcard is completely bumbling their whole operation and it really does seem like they only care about the cash first of all guys i want to talk about scorched earth now i love this map so much i think i speak for a lot of people when i say that it is the best pvp map for sure it is the easiest way to farm the element those desert drops are super easy and this is absolutely essential for every pvp player but when, when you start charging some more money for it that's where there is a problem when you make this map absolutely essential to play why don't you just include it in the original price along with that guys now this is one that I have a huge problem with and this is one I think we were all waiting for was the Ragnarok map now I, I, I'm not gonna lie this map is absolutely awesome it is absolutely beautiful but it is absolutely not finished and I got so mad when I found out that they were going to be to be releasing the new map aberration before they even release the other half of the scorched earth on Ragnarok I mean come on this map is super leggy it is super broken but the fact that it's not even finished finished yet before you are releasing a new one that is absolutely hogwash and let me guess it's because of the money funny enough aberration is gonna cost players another 20 bucks and I really do think that if they charged for Ragnarok that map would have been finished so once again I really feel like um, wildcard is trying to soak all of the diehards and all of the new players without catering to the people that have really been here from the start been here through the beta and right now guys I just want to say shout out to everyone who has been with Ark from the very start I've only been playing this game for like a year now and some of you guys have been here for so much longer than me and you guys got heart you guys got grit and you guys are the true gamers that really do keep games alive because the fact is is that Ark, Ark Survival definitely had the potential to be one of the greatest games of all time and they are bumbling it with every single opportunity. It really does seem like all they wanted to do was get the game to the release date and they thought they were fine. Honestly, I will give Wildcard huge credit for getting this game to the release but that doesn't mean the job is done yet and I am very nervous for when Aberration does come out because I think uh, Ark has around 200,000 players who play the, the game and let's say they sell 50,000 copies now that is definitely being optimistic optimistic but at 20 bucks they are looking at another million dollar payday and this is what they are focused on here and I am very nervous as to what's going to happen after this where are they going to going to get the money to go back and fix everything like there's no way they can come out with um, a new map and if they did that would absolutely be bonkers so I do not know which direction that arc is going to go here like honestly arc just may honestly dry up and rust away and we're never going to see it again. But honestly, I am so grateful for ARK because ARK actually did get me back into gaming. I didn't play games there for maybe four or five years and then I saw my brother playing ARK and I started playing it and I was like, honestly, I'm going to start a YouTube channel about this because I love this game so much. So I'm definitely indebted to ARK and I will have a soft spot in my heart in my heart for arc for the rest of my life for sure because now i got a youtube channel and i want to be a gamer and and you know it really is all because of arc sparking that inside of me and honestly guys i you know what i honestly think about arc this is going to be a pve game because i actually started as a level one player on scorched earth on pve and 
and honestly the game was absolutely fantastic we didn't have to worry about the um about the brokenness of pvp and you know the offline rating protection it really gave players a chance to sign off and not play for a couple days and come back and to have all of their stuff there and it, and honestly, this is what Aberration is all about. It is the most aesthetically pleasing map they have released so far. And they even said that they are going to be catering to more of the PvE players. And I have seen a lot of people play ARK on t t Twitch now. Because I'm actually right now currently streaming on Twitch. And um, a lot of people are doing like role plays, modded, and a lot of people are actually just playing the game without the, the, the PvP. But honestly, this is where you can just put art on a sailboat and send it into the sunset because the P the hardcore PvP players are the one that keep this game alive. The hardcore PvP players are the ones that sign on every single day and keep this game active 100%. I don't know if wildcard gets a share of the Xbox membership cash but based on the hours played by some of these players I know they are getting money for it and with people's entire months and months of work being wiped overnight to a glitch or or just all of the updates and everything just crashing the game like the lag like you it really does seem like wildcard will not listen to their core players all they care about is the share holders and how the game looks it's all about money and you can just see it everything that is gonna bring them more revenue that's the stuff that they are focusing on but they are losing a it really does seem like they themselves have never played art because how do you get a mega tribe how do you become an alpha it's by having solid members in your team that you can trust and you all work together and listen to each other. I really think like this is a huge metaphor for ARK and it really does seem like Wildcard may, may be being in, incited by somebody. I'm not exactly sure but it does seem like there's some kind of sabotage going on because when you lose the trust of the hardcore players time and time again, like you are going to be losing so many players. Hey guys. You want to hear a joke? Arc release dates. That and that has become one of the biggest jokes that Wildcard has ha, has done. I think Aberration was supposed to be out in October. Like this is and then like Ragnarok was pushed back, pushed back, pushed back. It's not even finished. Like people are honestly laughing at Wildcard and they absolutely deserve it now. This is honestly the cherry on the cake right here now. As it turns out Aberration is releasing on the same date that the new Battlegrounds PUBG is being released. They they right here are so scared of this game crushing Ark and honestly this is this may be the time when I actually uninstall Ark and get a brand new game because honestly I love the building and I love you know working together over time to make something but honestly guys with the brokenness, with everything going on, I am more interested in more of a match play, some more uh, first person shooter games. Like, it's just really sad to see because Ark does have all of these elements in their game from PvP to building to teamwork to caves to boss fights to planning. It really does encompass what a sandbox game is really supposed to be. And, and honestly, if they do make it a strictly PvE game, they might have some success, but guys, for the hardcore gamers, we need the PvP 100%. Honestly, after I smashed PvE for months and months and months, it's kind of tired ha just having all of those dinos around you and there's nothing to use them on and there's nothing to kind of work for and it's kind of loses point right away. So having a PvP where you lose dinos and smash bases and build new ones, that's the stuff that really is going to keep players coming back. But guys, it really does need to be fixed. And honestly, guys, it's not just me that actually may be quitting Ark. Why don't we go take a look at Crispy Josh for two seconds. Don't worry, guys. He's got the best Ark content bar none. So let's take a look. What? Oh my god. No, that must be a troll video. Let me see the next one. No, no. All right. All right, guys. Don't worry. We still got... Witchy, let's see how he's doing. 
All right, guys. Whew. He uploaded one week ago. All right. When was his second one? Over a month ago. No! God, why? Like, you know when Twitchy and Crispy don't want to play Ark that this game is seriously messed up. And, guys, you know, no, no matter what, I am so grateful for you guys, for all the support that that you guys have given me over the past year and i just want to say if arc does go into the toilet i am not going to stop playing games i'm going to find the new stuff because as an as a youtube content creator and as a hard as a hardcore gamer at heart i want to go where the fun is i want to go where the players are so honestly wildcard gg thank you so much um I say there's probably a five to ten percent chance that uh, you guys actually pull this all around and just get the job done. But honestly, as the history would show, I am very doubtful. But I honestly wish you guys all the best and thank you so much for what you guys have done so far. And thank you so much to all uh, to all of the players that have stuck by Ark and. Uh, I want to know what new games you guys are, are going to let me know in the comments below just know that I love you guys so much oh, I feel so good I finally got that off my chest all right guys I love you until next time don't survive but thrive